What's up guys and welcome back to 72T. In today's video we've got an amazing video for you guys and this is something you're definitely going to want to purchase if you want the best Wi-Fi signal without your whole house. We're going to be looking at the AX6000 Linksys router and honestly this is going to be one of the best routers you are going to find on the market. So we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about it, basically show you why you, this router is honestly one of the best routers that I have ever looked at. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and so on. So we're going to do an unboxing obviously and then we're going to do a short little brief um, information about the um, router and so on. But first of all, let's talk about some key features that you really need to know about this router, which is so cool. So one of them is obviously you've got Mac streams. So dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. So Wi-Fi 6, that's an amazing um, Wi-Fi. So not many routers in Australia actually have Wi-Fi 6. So that's amazing that it has that. Now, what this router is really great for is obviously streaming. So you can do a lot of streaming, no lag at all, depending on what sort of um, provider that you are with, obviously. Gaming, so it has great gaming, you're gonna have no lag, and there's gonna be a way that you can check everything, your internet speed and so on, with the Linksys app, which I'll show you a little bit later through the video. Also you've got mesh Wi-Fi integrated, so it's gonna cover your whole house up to 280 square meters, and if you use square feet, it's 3,000 square feet up to 40 plus devices. So if you've got heaps of smart home stuff in your house, like light bulbs, Google Homes, you know, you name it, anything that smart home, you will have up to 40 plus devices that you connect, can connect to this um, router. Most routers only allow you to connect 20 devices. This allows you to connect up to 40 plus devices and it's up to six gigabits per second. Obviously, if you can achieve six gigabits, this router will achieve it. And again, this model is going to be AX6000. Let's uh, tip over the box and show you what's on the other side. So now let's talk about a few key features at the back of the box. We won't go through all the features. Um, or you can pause the video and take a look at all these features. There is quite a large amount of them and they all do amazing things. So we're going to talk about this one right here, which got my attention the most. And this is obviously Bye Bye Dead Zone. So that is really important. So there's different dead zones in your house. This router will eliminate that. So there's gonna be no more dead zones in your house, which actually is really good. And that way you don't get any weak bars and so on. So goodbye dead zones is right there. Also we've got, yeah, it's way better than Wi-Fi 5. So you know, yes, you are running Wi-Fi 6 with this router. So yes, you are gonna get incredibly good Wi-Fi because you are running Wi-Fi 6, which is incredible. Also, you've got your smart security right there. Um, so everything that you need about this router, it honestly is one of the best ones that I've definitely found. And if you do want to pick one of these up, you can go on the US um, or the Australian Amazon, or you can go onto the um, Linksys website and purchase them there. They are a little pricey on sale. They're generally $3.99. Um, so that's pretty much what they do cost. But honestly, they are a pretty mean router and they do a lot of great stuff. And if you want great coverage, you want Wi-Fi without the whole house, without putting little outlets all through your house, this is the router to go with. All right, guys, so now let's unbox it and show you what's in the box. So this is your router right here. And we'll have a look at the, all the different antennas, how they move and so on very soon. You've got your little warranty guide right here. And then down below, I'm assuming we do get our power. Now, sadly, it will be a US power a plug. If you do have the same sort of a supply at home, an Australian one or something, that will work as well, but it does come with a US power a power plug right there. So do keep that in mind. And also you've got your internet cable right there. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that you do get in the box and so on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. And then, yep, there's another underneath. So that's pretty much everything that you do get in the AX6000 right there. So now we're gonna do, just show you a little bit of a tour sort of thing, going through the app and show you a few different features you get. And also we'll just show you um, pretty much what you do get in the box. So you get your internet cable, you get your power supply, obviously you get your router, your warranty guide, and a step instruction of what the LED lights do indicate so again if it's red it means there's no um, internet if it's uh, if it's purple it's in setup mode so you can set up your router and so on right there and as you see you can pretty much move these antennas any direction that you want that suits your house okay so that actually makes so it gives you way more range and eliminates all dead spots within your house um, so honestly it pretty much covers a wide range right there and you can pretty much tweak the antennas whatever suits your house if you're getting a weak signal in a certain room 
You can tweak it a little bit, move the antennas and so on, and you'll find you pretty much get a pretty good antenna. And in this apartment, pretty much we get a full antenna, actually no, no lower than a full antenna. In every single room, it's full bars. And so I'm pretty impressed with it um, right there. And there is brick concrete walls. And the fact that the Wi-Fi signal can get through that is quite amazing. So you got your two USB 3.0s right there. We do apologize for the pause. The battery just died. So you've got your reset button. And obviously, as I said before, your two 3.0s right there. You've got your internet. So if that's coming from a modem um, right there, so you can plug that in. Then you've also got your four different outlets, so you can plug that into your TV, Xbox, whatever you're plugging that into, a wall outlet. Um, if that divides for your house, you can do that as well, um, which works really well. Also, you've got your AC, your power right there, and also your power on and power off. So very simple to use and run. And before we really end up end of today's video and go through the app and all that cool little stuff right there, um, we're gonna just tell you, is it suitable for you? So if you're wanting a really good router for your home and you're really not sure what sort of router you need, now we're gonna go through a few different steps of routers that are pretty much suitable. So there's your standard router, which pretty much your telcos give you, and that's generally for a little bit of streaming, right? So you can do a bit of streaming. Um, not really designed for gaming use at all, so they're not very designed for that. And a lot of the routers that the telcos do give you, they are capped. Um, sometimes they are capped at 100 megabits. So if you're really wanting to jump and achieve way more than that, and you don't want to have to buy it with your telco, another um, like a Wi-Fi adapter to extend your internet connection throughout the house, this is certainly a router for you. And if you certainly want it for Epic gaming, so you definitely want great gaming, no lag, nothing like that, no cutouts, no dead zones, nothing like that. This is definitely the router for you. If you just want to stream, just keep streaming 4K content, this is certainly the router for you. And another scenario this router can come in handy that the normal Telstra or Optus or any Telco um, modem cannot do is if you've got solar or some sort of smart system that is outside you find the Wi-Fi bars can't reach and you can't set up your solar correctly and you can, can't really connect it to the internet. Well, with this modem, you can be assured that it will definitely get Wi-Fi outside. And again, if it doesn't reach, you can just move the antennas until you do get a good Wi-Fi signal outside for your solar or whatever you're trying to set up. So if you definitely want really big range without your whole house, this is definitely the modem for you. Gaming, streaming, you name it is pretty much for you. If you're just surfing the web and so on, and basically not really using the internet for watching videos, gaming, um, yeah, all that stuff, you're just surfing the web, definitely stay with your telco, um, obviously modem there. That way you save a bit of money and obviously you don't wanna pay for something that you're really not gonna use in the long term. So now let's go through the app and basically show you a little bit of the setup and so on through there. Okay guys, so let's go for a little bit of a walkthrough on this application, the Linksys application right here. Now the application is just gonna look like this little Wi-Fi symbol and it's gonna be called Linksys and that's pretty much the application you need to download, make an account with Linksys and so on, um, link your device and you're all good to go. As you see, um, we'll go through a few of the different options on this page. So at the top, you're gonna to see the name of whatever you've called your Wi-Fi. Okay, so whatever you've called your Linksys Wi-Fi, that's what's gonna show up here. Also, it's gonna show the status of the modem. So if it's offline, if it's online, if it's doing an update, it will tell you what it is actually doing. Also, we will see how many devices are currently connected to the router. As you see, there is 11, and how many routers we have, and there is one. You can actually do a speed test through the router, so it gives you a more of an accurate speed that your router is actually going through, so it can actually tell you what the actual speed test the router is actually receiving. We'll show you how to do that very soon. Also, you can look at your last five devices connected. As you see, we've got the Xbox, and all of these are pretty much Google Homes, except the iPhone. Um, you can put on parent control, or you can share the Wi-Fi, and you can put a guest Wi-Fi there as well. By clicking the three little dots, you've got a few other options that are pretty helpful. You can view all your devices by clicking on that. You can scroll through all those right there. You can edit the name of them by clicking on the device. By clicking on the three dots again, three lines, you can actually do a few other things. You can change parental control. So if you want to put a parental control on, you can do that. Also, if you want to put a guest network, you can do that as well. If you've got external storage, you can plug that into one of the USB ports right there. Um, and most of that is all pretty much self-explanatory. 
and all that. Um, you've got advanced settings, so advanced settings isn't too major. Um, let's just open that up, okay? So you've got um, porting, porting settings, um, you've got local network settings, and also if you wanna set up a new device, you can do that as well. And that's pretty much all you need to know with the application on terms of how that works. Let's just do a quick little speed test and see what we are um, pretty much bringing in. So we'll just see what results we get on the um, speed test. Now I'm a bit concerned, we're on 4G, and yeah, see the ping is a little high and we're on peak time, so 3.40. So everyone's getting home from work, everyone's gonna be on the 4G network pretty much. Um, so it's gonna be very high demand. So let's see, yeah, so still not too bad for 4G. So 4G can be really fast, up to 200 megabits. So that's generally what you get during the day, um, about 10 a.m. or even through the night, about 200 megabits. However, on peak, you're really pushing how much you do get. And we should get around five upload or seven upload. We're lucky there. So that's pretty actually incredible. So that's pretty much the speed test in the application. Um, it's normally pretty accurate and right there, but you can still use the speed test app or whatever one you do use. They are all normally pretty accurate right there. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that we need to show you within the application if you found today's video helpful. And if we made, if you found the right modem that you're actually looking for, let us know down below. And hopefully this is something you may want to look into and so on. All right, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one.